All right, I told myself this morning when I woke up, I told Scotty too, I was gonna have tea. Look, I even have my tea bag out. And then I decided to make coffee. <laughs> oh gosh, what a mess. I should have listened to myself. I even pulled the, the bag of uh, tea out. I told myself, oh, I'll have tea this morning. No, I didn't listen to myself. What's the deal? How are you feeling today? Are you feeling any better? Yeah, I'm feeling better. I'm you still have a to... headache? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not just, today, just yet today. Up. I haven't walked out uh, to 100 degrees yet. All right, so Scotty and I have had a little bit of, uh, I don't know if it's allergies to the kitties or what it is, Dust but we both have heat. had, yeah, we both had runny noses and uh, a headache. A dull headache. I've had just a yeah. dull feeling, constant headache. Yeah, me too. We were going to meet up with Caravan Carolyn, and I, I wrote her, I, one we <laughs> I can't show you Scotty, he's got a big oh. hole in his pants. And I'm going to stick my foot through it and then it'll be done. I'm not going anywhere yet. How do I look like my bicycle? <laughs> All right, um, but anyways, I was looking out here because we've got uh, the water's moving in the pool. There's some uh, breeze going on out here. I think it's only supposed to be 90 something. Oh, say it ain't so. Yeah. So, anyways, we were supposed to meet up with Caravan Carolyn, but um, I was telling her we just, one, we haven't gone hardly anywhere except to the store to get, you know, groceries and to the Goodwill. And then we both have had this kind of crap going on the last couple days actually it's been almost four days so you know no big deal I just uh I didn't think she would want to meet up with us and if we have anything oh so Scotty is moving uh <laughs> the water the water feeder or the water uh dish Nat gets up here and he loves to push everything over He's knocked a couple glasses over. We were warned. Uh, Aunt Shelley and Uncle Russ warned us about this. But yesterday, he decided he was going to move his entire water bowl from the carpet where they have it all the way under the chairs. And knocked this it over. This morning, well, that was, he, yeah. he didn't do, he didn't knock it over last night. He got a little bit of water out. This morning, however, <laughs> Scott came out and it was empty. And laying on its side. <laughs> and now I don't think it works. Aww. I don't know if it burned up or... Maybe it just needs a good fixing. It probably got it in the motor. Nat, you ruined your, uh, where's that little Nat at? So Nat is nocturnal, big time. Uh, <laughs> it keeps still up. Oh, yay. Look at baby. I've already got his door open down there so he can go out. <laughs> Are you hiding your head in shame? <laughs> I broke my water bowl. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he's a little something else. <laughs> he did let me give him a good pet in this morning though. Like two seconds. All right guys, today is one of our last days here. Uh, by ourselves, so we've got some things to do. What do we got to do today? I've got to go replace. We've just got maybe four or five things we need to replace food wise that I use. That, uh, and we need to go back to uh, Goodwill and exchange and change. Yeah, I didn't really like my costume stuff, so um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we, we're, we're doing something else, uh, so yeah. <laughs> switching it up. Switching it up. And then, and then uh, I just need to go to Napa and get an oil filter for oh, uh, the yeah. and change the oil. Scotty got oil the other day, so. Um, so exciting. Oh, so yeah. exciting. We have been, we've been cleaning the house. I've been doing windows. I did windows yesterday and did a bunch of stuff. I want, I want your sister to come home to a nice clean house. Her house is already clean, guys. Don't, you know, she's very clean, so. I just wanted to do some it's extra, all her fault. extra Little fun food stuff. Little food-hiding dog. <laughs> oh, I know what you want. You want breakfast, don't you? Oh. Oh, yeah. Are you... Oh, green beans okay? All right, well, if we do anything fun today, we'll take you guys with us.
I don't know how fun I don't know how fun shopping is, but <laughs> oh my gosh, I know. That's okay. Are you having a coffee moment too? I I grabbed the sugar. Yeah. I brought it over here to add it to the sugar. Right. I opened it up. I grabbed the spoon. <laughs> and I, but I wanted to fill that up. Now I know what I did. I put coffee. I mean, sugar in my coffee and put this away. For a minute, I thought I just opened, I thought I came over here, I thought I opened it up, looked in there, and shut it and put it away. So You looked really confused. I am confused. There's something about having coffee this morning that is very confusing to us. Maybe that's what you gotta have when you live in Arizona, just in case. Fire. Oh, I'm getting ready to jump in the pool. Okay. Okay, soon. Soon you'll be back in your own home. You'll miss Stella. You're gonna miss Stella. <laughs> All right. Uh, Shelly and Russ will be home tomorrow. We're I'm sure they're, you know what, I almost wonder if they're not on a plane now because I'm going to get them at 3 o'clock. 3.15 is when we pick them up. 3.15 here. And what time is it now here? 8 o'clock? It's, uh, it's what not time is it? <laughs> Ooh, we got the oven going. I'm still cooking. Let's see. What time? Uh, oh, listen, it's me. almost 8 o'clock. Okay, so... Hi guys, why am eight I cooking at eight o'clock? Oh my gosh, you well, guys! We got kind of busy working and around the well, house. Well, as you guys stuff. saw, we were doing windows today, and then we we've actually been cleaning for the last couple of days. Shelly's house is super clean, but <laughs> I was a professional cleaner for so many years that well, I did I did cleaning what else can you way do when you can't go outside. I did <laughs> cleaning way before I did cake decorating, guys. So. Uh, anyways, I'm in the process. <laughs> I have that one sitting there. I'm in the process of making some. What are they, babe? Uh, burritos. Bean burritos. And the funny thing about that, now that you ask me, um, is we started out trying to figure out what to have for dinner. I know. And then all of a sudden, well, burritos okay. came up, and it was burritos like, came up, and then we went to Walmart, and then we had to go to Target because I wanted to replace a few things that we had eaten in the house, um, and then I was in Target getting their their. Certain things with, you know, like organic stuff and this and that I wanted to replace. Um, and then we were going to go get cheap burritos. Yes, we were. At a and cheap went, place. And we won't mention and the, the more, place we wanted to go to. The more I thought about it, I thought it was so unhealthy. Plus, not only that, it's you get so much more when you do your own for what you pay at the fast food joints. I am having a Dos Equis, though. Hey, nothing Did you goes drink better. Yours? <laughs> I have, and now I'm having mm. another one. Nothing goes better with Mexican food than a Dos Equis. I know. So that's one of my favorite beers. Um, I don't drink them very often, but I saw them and I thought, "Ooh, Scotty and I could have Dos Equis with our meal." And as we make them, we do have some fries in here. Those, I, I think, those are done. Oh, yeah. Whoa, those are crunchy. Oh, perfect. Okay. I might have to just warm them. I'll let them sit, and then we'll, you know, oh, I do can put our them on thing. The you can munch on um, and wait for this. I'm going to pass you this. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to put the uh, camera on the tripod tonight. I'm so tired, you guys. It's been a long day. Anyways, this is cilantro. Scott, not Scotty's favorite uh, food, but, or herb, but... Mixed in stuff, he won't taste this. 
And I won't even know that it's there. He doesn't mind it. He's mm -hmm. not like, a, you know, absolutely hate cilantro. He just doesn't, he doesn't like tons of it. But for what I'm making, that's perfect. Okay. And all that's going to go on that one burrito shell? I need a dish. Hmm. I don't think you can do all that <laughs> on only one no, burrito no, shell. No, no. Oh, you got more. Oh, I'm okay. I'm surprised at the price of these at uh, Target. Now, the other things were a little bit more pricey, but these were two, two something. For eight of them? Yeah, I was uh, kind of surprised. That, that's not that. a bad uh, um, deal. Yeah. Okay, so I have refried beans in here with chilies, a can of chilies, mild chilies. And I also have a very small amount of taco seasoning in here just to give it a little bit of flavor so we'll go put those on first then we'll just do our assembly here i think what i'll do is i'll bring my tortillas over here up oh, coming around i can unplug this oh that's that's i can toasty, move that for you toasty warm mm -hmm. all right and you know what i and think then, and then i just have uh some um Oh, what do you call it? You know, enchilada sauce. Oh, enchilada sauce okay. down there. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think, am I doing that the right way? I need to do this different. Okay, <laughs> hold on. You're asking to... the wrong person if I you're know. doing it right. You guys aren't going to be able to watch it, but. Oh, I can sneak in. All right. I'm just going to, you all know how to layer a burrito, don't you? I don't know. You might not put uh, tomatoes in your uh, burritos, but I absolutely love that. Maybe more like an enchilada, bean enchilada. And then just, um, I got pintos and black beans with cilantro. You could probably, I, I don't know, you could probably put a little salt and pepper in here if you wanted to. I have the seasoning, taco seasoning in there. So you really don't need any salt because there's already, you know, in the seasoning there's salt. And and we have those mild jalapenos. <laughs> jalapenos. Yeah, do you want to get those and we'll put those in too? Do you yeah. think we need to? You want to go get the thing? The tri trifecta? Yeah. Okay, I decided to put you guys on the tripod. So Scott didn't have to sit there and hold it. Uh, I know some of you guys don't like to watch the cooking, some of you guys do. So anyways, I just ended up putting the beans in there with the cilantro. Basically put everything in there. Just like that. You could put your sauce in there if you want. I'm not uh, doing that. Okay, let's tuck them in on the sides. I'm not getting fancy with it. I'm tired. <laughs> so we're not going to worry about that. I think I'll probably just make uh, six of them. Just save enough so you can pour some on the top. One thing that I'm missing is um, rice. Oh, well, my bad. No, it's not your bad. Uh, I was going to make that. I know, but we also decided we were going to go to dinner, you know, out and get just fast food, whatever. I look, I saw the, the yellow rice, and I just thought, I don't want to spend the extra amount. We don't really need it. It was, I don't know, like seven bucks a target. And I was just thought, you know, I don't really need rice in my burrito. Bean and cheese and onion and all the yummies is good enough. Doesn't that look pretty? I just love. You are never going to hear a complaint to me. You are one lady that cooks awesome and the presentation <laughs> is always ass kicking. Oh, thanks, babe. All right. Very simple. Just roll them. They don't have to be tight. They don't have to be anything perfect. And then just smash them down on the side. That's good enough. You want enough uh, sauce in the bottom? I probably should have got two cans of that, but it'll be fine. And you probably don't even need to do this. You probably could roll your burritos and then afterwards just pour the sauce over it and, you know, cover it that way. Whatever way you want it. You guys, it really doesn't matter. 
just throw it all in there. You could even uh, layer everything and just layer your, your uh, shells. You don't have to, you know, roll them. When I make uh, uh, enchiladas, I, I just layer them all. This is a pretty inexpensive dinner too, just letting you know. I got, oh, I got a little cheese in there. And you can put more cheese in there if you want. I'm just being a little stingy with it because I only had a little small block. I like mixing the uh, chilies uh, in the bean burrito, or in the beans. <laughs> The refried beans that way you get you know a nice uh they're you know more even and then put your cilantro in here because i think you get a better uh spread of it my rest come home tomorrow so there'll be a little little leftover these are kind of like enchiladas and i'm using enchilada sauce but we call them bean burritos <laughs> that's what we call them i always on um on our enchiladas, I always did this. I just took all the leftover, put it right up on top. That way when you pull out, you know, it is it is more of an enchilada. I don't know. Hey, I think it's perfect. Call it what you want. I'm going to call it yummy yum. If you don't want to put it all over, then don't. These I'm actually going to save and put those in a little container. Um, we've got some uh, corn tortillas in there we can have for lunch before we pick uh, Shelly and Russ up. So I'm going to save the beans in this. We'll put them uh, in a cup, couple little containers. And then before we go pick them up, because we're going to have to wait a little bit. Yeah. How much of this did you cut up? Um, it, it, it would be one complete, I guess, eight ounce block or whatever okay. like that. Okay. Uh, I used a half of a big, um, uh, yellow onion, right? Yellow onion. Yep. One can of refried beans, one small can, um, of the chili. Sprinkle of taco sauce, uh, Shelly had a, like a shaker. And I just did just a couple little shakes of that. And one can of pinto, one can of black, and then a handful of cilantro. And then the, oh, what else? And then the enchilada sauce and the tortilla. So if you want to make them, that's uh, what you need. Scotty is <laughs> always my uh, backup. <laughs> You know, he's got my back over there at the sink. <laughs> I appreciate hey, it. Hey, I'm, I'm the, the dishwasher I, I, guy. I appreciate it very much. Shelly and I cook like this too. She uh, she always, you know, I, well, you guys saw us cook one time. She likes it when I come over and cook with her. We have, we've been cooking a long time together. I know it would be a great experience and I think we're kind of planning it maybe as a uh, houseboat Rent the houseboat and yeah. you and Shell cooked. Uh, what if we were on that houseboat the last time for like seven days, eight days? Yeah. You guys cooked our meals every day on that houseboat. You guys that have any suggestions about houseboats, Shelly? So, uh, I don't know if we've ever talked about this. I think we have talked about this before. Um, years and years ago, we all went on a boat uh, trip. We split the boat fee and took the kids they took their kids we took our kids and we let our kids also have uh friends well that I wish, was a 57 foot yeah, double decker houseboat that's right i wish i would have had some uh, olives then it, yeah then it would be an enchilada <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, can, I, I can think of so many things to put in here. Um, anyway, so we rented that. We did that for a week. I think the first one we oh. did for like maybe five days. And then the second one was, I'm sure it was seven days. Some of you guys are probably thinking I'm going to miss having a big old kitchen. But honestly, I, I miss my house. 
I know that sounds funny, guys, but we do. We miss our we miss our trailer. It's our home. Well, let me ask you that. This is a good question. We have been here. here. I, I'll come in here. Um, so we've been here. We've been here for two weeks. Yeah. Sticks and bricks are living in your little twenty your little fifth wheel. I probably will live in a fifth wheel or some kind of a travel trailer the rest of my life. I have Bingo! Done, I have done more cleaning in the last couple days than I've cleaned probably in six months in my little house. That doesn't um, take us long to go through that. Whole and thing. we can't move this. Oh. We can't move this house out of the heat. <laughs> no, no. Into the mountains. So. And when we go home, we we're gonna. So when we get back to Aja's, we uh we have the event for the party. And after that, we've got some plans. Um, some travel plans. Yeah. That's right. It might not be outside of Arizona real fast, but we're going to be moving. We're going to be going. Go, go, go. So We're going to find <laughs> lower elevation and <laughs> cool weather. Yeah. We have a plan. Oh, Alexa, set an alarm for 15 minutes. We'll see. 15 I know it's minutes. minutes. Starting now. I just want to see if I'm going to have the heat up high enough. On Are you going to mix Alec Miss Alexa? Alexa, how high should I set the oven to make enchiladas? Here are the ingredients. <laughs> she, she didn't understand. But Alexa? She doesn't know. What oven temperature do you set for uh, enchiladas? Here's what I found. From KitchenSeer.com, the standard cook temperature for enchiladas is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Look how close you are. I should turn but these are burritos. Yeah, but that, I should turn <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we're going to plan on doing a little, a little venturing around. A little. Yeah. We were going to talk about this on the way home. Oh, on the way home? Yeah. Okay, well, you can't watch this part because this is going to be in my truck going home. <laughs> <laughs> no, i Cut! <laughs> We're gonna even jump in the pool tonight. Oh, uh oh, it's lightning and thundering out there. Maybe not. <laughs> get her, Natty, get her. He, as soon as the sun goes down, oh, he's that's such when he a starts getting player. active. Yeah. yeah. So we did go one night and we got fish sandwiches at. I don't know what the place is called. Potellos? Oh, that sounds right. Potellos, do you guys know what that is? Um, and Scotty got french fries. I got onion rings. That little booger. He, <laughs> I didn't <laughs> come share. Over here. <laughs> come over here. He, I didn't <laughs> share. He took a I bunch ate her onion my, rings. Uh, I ate my french fries. He oh, took no. a bunch of my. Uh, Let's see how these are. Oh, these are <laughs> perfect. Onion rings. And mm -hmm. then. And then he came mm. back in and he threw his thing away and I said, oh, where's some french fries? And he's like, I ate them all. <laughs> so I really wanted some french fries. So I thought, well, unky has got such a really great uh, fryer. You know, yeah. I have an air fryer at home, you guys, but it's really tiny. So I only use it very, uh, I just don't use it very often because it's, there's just not a lot of room in it. These are really good. I only bought a small one to see if we liked it. I do like them, so hopefully someday we'll get a bigger one. I love french fries like that. You ever get french fries where... Baby! What up, kitty kitty? Nanny. No. Nanny is missing his dad well, he's so much. Playing. And his mama. Anyway. You want to chop? Let oh, me let him out the house. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, mm -hmm. okay. I'm he's gonna, just gonna let you out he wants the pounce, tent. He wants to pounce on the table, baby. Well, I just can't see him out there at night. Come That's why. How about if I turn the light on out there yeah. for him? It's like having uh, stepchildren. <laughs> stepchildren? Yeah, because, you so, know, we're used to punky. Right. I didn't think about that. That's funny. Kids to that's funny. Watch after. 
It's been fun, you guys. I did realize, though, that um, I don't want cats. I used to, to ask Scotty if we could get a kitty and travel with a kitty all the time, but he's like, no, no. Now, uh, <laughs> what's wrong with a cat? I don't want to clean out the <laughs> poop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Pumpkin, pumpkin goes outside, we pick it up with a bag, and we're done. <laughs> I don't want to clean a litter box out. Perfect. Right? You know me. I never had a cat that went in a litter box, guys. We, our cats always were outside cats, and, and indoor, outdoor cats. We never... Okay, well, we had that one, but... <laughs> it crapped on my carpet. <laughs> okay, well... But a nasty poop. We got rid of that cat. Very soon, it was a wild cat that I brought home. <laughs> now we didn't get rid of it. It, it, it ran away. Yeah. <laughs> it ran away. That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You got me so sidetracked. I was telling them something. Mm. Um. I'll be the price yeah, up. I found a cat. We were out boating one time, and I found this cat. And I know that it was probably wild. It was probably a, a feral cat. But I thought, you know, I wanted to take it home, feed it, and take care of it. And the poor little thing never came out from under our bed and tried to bite me. And then uh, Scotty took it, was taking it to the main society, and he stopped to get gas, and the cat just jumped out and off and went. So he yep. lived with us for just a couple months. I thought I could help him. That was a good thing. You <laughs> tried. Mm, I felt bad for him. I don't even remember if it was a boy or a girl. It was a her. No. Okay. Oh, I remember its name. Sybil. <laughs> Sybil is what you named it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Now, others might. My fries were good. You hesitated. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Alexa, how much more time do I have until the alarm goes off? I was telling them something, but then I, now I forgot. Mm -hmm. Your Alexa doesn't listen to Something me. Something about the french fries. Mm, I love crunchy fries. I know. They were perfect then. No, I have a timer on for five minutes. To let the... Oh, it smells so good. Burrito enchilada <laughs> We can just go right on my plate. Oh, here, I need one fry to clean it up a little better. There we go. You know what's been fun too, being here? Is you guys have been able to sit with us a couple times for dinner. At home, I don't I don't know where I would put you guys to do that. I mean, I know you've been at our table before, but kind of hard to put them anywhere. Where do, where would we put them? Oh. We could get a little orbiter oh, that just kind of floats around. <laughs> a little orbiter. An orbiter um, camera. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring it on. Kind of like from Star Wars. Alexa, please turn off the alarm. Thank you. Oh, let me get us some oh, gosh. forks and. All right, so this is what Scotty and I do. We put sour cream on. I bought just a little one because we're leaving, and I don't know if Shelly and Russ do sour cream or not. I'm all out of chipotle. Say it ain't so. It's so. Uh, where's our big, uh, we need a... Uh, you guys know me as well as you think you do. You would know. Will that work to pop it um, out? Uh, in that drawer over there. You would know that one of my favorite sauces for uh, heat is chipotle. I love chipotle. Oh, this was to cut it too, though. Oh, okay, so. mm -hmm. gosh. I hope it's cooked in the center. Oh, it's been in there. <laughs> okay, this is going to be, you know, getting the first one out is always the hardest. Oh, because it congealed. It's kind of funny to have french fries with enchilada or burrito. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Is it hot? Like spicy hot? What? Mmm. <laughs> Mm, that's what those is good for. To wash it down your food? No, to uh, take it from the oven <laughs> to set it on a plate. Five minutes didn't cool down much. It's hot. It's hot. 
sorry. It's perfectly tasty, but it's... That's just because you're tender tongue. I know. I'm, I'm a little impatient, Lizzie. Mm. Scotty has a nickname. Teeter tot tender tongue. <laughs> I, I went there. I just told him. How many beers did you drink? One. Dang. <laughs> I just want to know the story. No. Can I tell him? No, I'm eating my dinner. <laughs> no. I'm going to tell him. Gonna tell him. No. Why you, you, what? I'm going to tell him why, you, why you're called teeter tot tender tongue. No, you're not. <laughs> Woo! That will cool down much up. <laughs> How about if I walk away? No, they'll have to tune in. Start. They'll have to tune in in the next video, and then I'll tell them when you're not around. Why? <laughs> it's not bad. See, I always told you I was but Indian. My, but, my, Indian. <laughs> but I know you're native. I know you have some native in you, but well, your sister says you don't, but your father said you did. I don't know. Mmm. I know so yeah. Mmm. I think I think it would have been good with rice. Mm -mm. Be more filling. Um, it is spicy. It's from the enchilada sauce. And mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's spicy. That's why you have sour cream to cool it down. Um, but I think rice would have filled it in a little bit more. Mm. I'm glad there's no rice in it. I'd rather have my rice on the side. Personally. Do you think I needed to cook a little longer? No. The onions are a little al dente. Yeah, but. I think it's good. It's a good quick meal, honestly. What what time did we start, you guys? Eight. Hey. It's, it's only been fifty minutes. It's eight fifty one right? now. So. Wow. Wait a minute. Was it seven something? <laughs> well, I you, said. We're going on eight. Okay. Mmm. And so, what would you say this meal costs? Mm. Just quick guess. Twenty dollars, thirty dollars. Okay, so the flour tortillas were two fifteen. Have a couple. The left. beans, and mind you, I I shopped at Target, so at Walmart or Safeway, I probably at Safeway I would have had like some coupon or some points to get some free stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, let me just think. Well, don't add your. The two savings. beans, the, the two beans were a dollar fifty eight each. Okay. Now I can get That's those three. cheaper. Okay. Other places. Uh -huh. um, and three, refried, four. Up. The refried beans were. Well, why don't I just get the. Hang on. Let me see. Let me see how much. Uh, well, I didn't mean for you to get up in the middle of your eating. All right, you guys can do the math. Because I know I, what this would cost from a restaurant. Well, that's why I went ahead and just did what I, I wanted. I mean, I knew it was going to yep. be late eating. When it comes to Mexican yep. food. Yeah. We haven't, yep. since we've been here, we haven't been going to bed till one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. Seriously, I don't know what that's about. I know. A big TV? No, I don't know. I sit in the bedroom with my uh, YouTube on till two, two in the morning. I watched Cake, Cake Wars last night or something like that. Wow. Till two. I was tired, I went to bed early. Hmm. And then I woke up at one o'clock. Okay. You guys add it up and put it in the comment section. Uh, okay, the enchilada sauce, $1.79. Uh, MP Mexican, I don't know what that is, 89 cents. Uh, the two beans, one was 149 and one was 149. And. The cheese was two twenty nine, and Scotty added just a little block of cheese, so like probably another twenty cents. Yeah. Cilantro was ninety five cents. Sour cream dollar fifty nine. Tomatoes I had four of those. I used two, so those were eighty three. So we'll go with forty one. It was only eighty three cents for those four. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. I like that. Um, 
Wow, I like that. How many items do we have? Tortillas. I didn't, did I say the tortillas? Oh yeah, two nineteen. So ten dollars. <laughs> and you could feed, you know. Yeah, after one of these, I, I'm gonna be you, full for Yeah, I mean, you could do one yeah. per person, but I would do in case you, if you had company, I would do like one and a half or two per person, just in case you had someone that wants to do leftovers, you know, or seconds. Well, you made six. Although, if you served this with a nice salad and there was rice in this, or you could do rice, uh, yellow rice on the side. And french fries in a salad. Because <laughs> we did have, well, we had french fries. French fries are yeah. kind of an odd thing to serve with the enchiladas, I think. Yeah, but, Or burrito. Well, no, because you would have Mexi fries. Well. Right? Tater tots. Yeah, you can do tater tots. But What made you, now I'm thinking about it, usually you would get tater tots. Why didn't you get tater tots? Because I didn't have fry sauce night with you. I knew, I knew I was in the wrong thing. <laughs> and I only mm -hmm. got half of my onion rings. <laughs> All right, guys. Pretty good dinner. Quick, simple, inexpensive. If you live by yourself and you're just doing for one person, you can make two of them and put the rest in tacos or something or just, you know, freeze the sauce, leftover sauce, and then, uh, you know, use the other stuff for something else or make them make them up and then freeze them mm -hmm. those i'm sure these freeze fine and i'm sure that you could just microwave them and they'd be great so oh. they're really good tonight and knowing with all those ingredients come tomorrow morning or afternoon yeah oh yeah all right guys we love you tomorrow you, when we see you we'll be picking shelly ross up oh that's right all right good night love y'all bye I guess we're not gonna go in the pool because it is a lot of lightning. Let's see. Seems like it's pretty far over. Oh yeah, there it is. It's pretty far, pretty far away. You can't even hear anything. I know, just as I was showing them that when it was uh, it was a big strike, and then my emergency broadcast thing came on. All right, so no pool, no pool. Come for on, us. rain, <laughs> rain, 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 a little rain. Yep. Wow, what is that flying through the air like that? What is that? Where? You don't see it, do you? Oh, what is it? It's falling. It's falling. Huh? Yeah, it's a light and it's falling. The light's falling? Oh, you did not see it. I don't know what it was. What, what are you... Uh, let me pass that fast. I think they were trying to get out of that lightning. I mean, it, you guys didn't see what I just saw, but there was like, right here, it was a, like something streaking through the clouds, kind of went whoop, and then went down way 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 out there probably over by the mountains but scotty didn't see it either i was trying to tell him but he couldn't see it from where he was standing weird i don't know if it was an airplane trying to get out of that unfortunately didn't see it i mean if you see it go up and down up and down it yeah would be really really close or uh moving very extremely it fast. was very odd very odd looking well, you know. Maybe it would have been one of them UFO things. <laughs> I was going to say, you yeah. know. <laughs> People see odd things yeah. in Arizona and Nevada. Ooh, okay. It's getting closer. I can hear it now.